Yeah, I was switching off butt cheeks. Like, I was so sore. Like, I was so sore to sit down. I was telling my husband, like, don't touch me. Don't touch it. Don't. What's up, fam? Welcome back and welcome to the channel. My name is Vanessa, and this channel is Told by Nessa. Hope y'all having a beautiful day. Y'all see the sun is shining shining on your girl because it feels beautiful y'all even though i have a sweater on it's still kind of chilly but it feels very good today as y'all can see in my background i have a little bit of a mess back there but that's for my closet downstairs so if you're interested in those videos make sure you stay tuned but this is a surrogacy update video making this video for women that are in the position that i am in or wanting to get some more information to see kind of what it is not to be scared so that's what this video is today so if you're interested in that or you just want to come and listen to your girl talk about the surrogacy journey then you can stay as well please stay please stay <laughs> please don't forget to like comment and subscribe ring the notification bell so you be notified each and every time your girl posts a video because why would you want to miss a video like why would you want to do that <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. So a mock cycle is when you start taking medication exactly how you would take the medication for a transfer. But instead of the transfer, you are going to do a endometrial biopsy, also known as an ERA test. So yeah, that's what I had. I had to do the ERA test and I am going to tell you guys all about it. Um, I'm pretty sure the endometrial um, test video and all of like how I felt would be in another video. This video is more about my mock cycle. So I am first going to start off y'all with showing y'all the medications that you have to take. First medicine that I had to take um, starting the journey was estrogen. So this is called estradiol and, and this is the oil that you're going to be using. Now this oil is not as thick as the progesterone oil that you will be taking on this cycle as well, but um, this is some pretty thick oil. This is actually a new bottle um, because now I am done with my mock cycle and now we're moving over to um, the transfer. But yeah, so this is the oil that you will be taking. It's 100 milligrams slash five milliliters. The needles that you'll be using for these, when I first seen these needles, I was so scared and intimidated, but it's literally not that bad, I swear. It is not bad, but I do also have a high pain tolerance. So I don't know if that was maybe the case. Okay, y'all, so these are the three things that you're gonna need for the um, estrogen medicine, and it's a delestrogen injection. So I tried the pills and the pills did not work. So um, my doctor um, went and they changed it over to the delestrogen, which worked, so I'm so glad it did. So what comes with this is the syringe, which just looks like a regular syringe like that. We have the 25, the 25 gauge needles. Let me show y'all very close. I need my nails done. Yeah, so this is the 18 gauge needle. Now this 18 gauge needle, y'all know y'all looking at it like, oh my gosh, this is so thick. But this, the 18 gauge needle is used to get the oil out of the bottle. And then once you're done with getting the oil out of there, then you're gonna switch it to the 25 gauge. So this is the one that's gonna be going um, into your bottom, not this one, because this one is way thicker. The 18 gauge is way thicker than the 25 gauge. And then you also get these. And then a good thing is y'all, they also give you a lot of alcohol wipes um, because you're definitely gonna need that. You have to wipe off the top of your, um, before you get your medicine out, you always have to wipe it off. So, and you also have to wipe off your skin. So I like that they give those. Also comes in your mock cycle medications is the aspirin, which this is a new bottle of aspirin. Y'all haven't opened it yet. So it's 
kind of hard. So they give you um, aspirin, which they look so little and tiny. So these are very, very easy pills. This is a pill that you're gonna take every single day. You're gonna take this pill every single day so that you won't get blood clots. So that's what the aspirin is used for. And y'all, I'm sorry, I didn't mention that you're not gonna be taking the Delestrogen injections every single day. Um, I take that every three days. So that's a plus, like I don't have to take it every single day because when I was on the estrogen pills, I had to take that every day and I was taking it twice a day. I was taking it from like eight in the morning and then 8 p.m. at night every single day. So I'm glad that I was able to get the delestrogen. So if you're in a mock cycle and you're kind of like nervous to do the shots, I feel like starting off with the shots helped me a lot like it really did um i also got this cold pack which i barely i don't really use the cold pack i kind of use a bag of peas that are dedicated to my buttocks <laughs> so i use the bag of peas in the freezer or i use my cold pack and i just put this on my intramuscular area for a good 10 minutes before i get the um, shot and then um, I warm up my shot and let me show you guys what I warm my injections with. This wonderful, wonderful heating pad y'all. I love this heating pad. I swear I do. So this heating pad has four options on it. It has high, medium, low, and warm, and you can get this from Target. I think I paid like, I don't even remember y'all. I don't know if it was $14 or $20, but they have all different sizes. I believe that this one is large, um, but yeah, I really, really love this heating pad. It really came in handy. Um, for this journey this is something that you absolutely need you don't get this um they don't give it to you or anything so you have to go buy it please go buy a heating pad because it's so it's worth it it's worth it go to your um monitoring clinic and at your monitoring clinic they're going to um basically check to make sure that your lining is thick enough once it's thick enough and you're also going to get labs done um, so they want to make sure that your progesterone levels are super, super low and they want to make sure that your endometrial line and thickness is very thick and could hold an embryo. So after that appointment is done and you're like, yay, I can finally move on to the next step, um, you are going to be taking progesterone and usually they start you on that the next day. So usually my appointments were like on a Thursday. So then I would go and start my progesterone on a Friday. And let me show y'all what your progesterone oil will look like. Like I said, all of my medicine, um, these are new. I haven't used them yet. I'm actually going to start on my um, Delestrogen um, today because my other bottle is like super low. I've been using that bottle, but now it's time for me to move over to that one. But this is how the oil looks. It looks super watery, right? But when you stick that needle in there and you're trying to suck it out, it is very, very thick. Like, it's a very, very thick oil. And when I, uh, when Brendan gave me my first shot, I had this big knot on my butt. I got that big knot on my butt because I didn't use the heating pad. Like, I didn't use it. So when I tell you that this heating pad is very, very, very necessary. Yeah, this is necessary. Please use the heating pad because this will hurt so bad. This shot hurts way more than the Delestrogen. Just make sure that your icing, your butt, then you're warming up this medicine as well. Put my, um, syringes inside of this heating pad and I basically wrap it up like this so that it gets extremely warm and that when the shot goes in it's not as thick because this it looks watery y'all but it's very very thick so just make sure that you're warming up your oil because it's gonna hurt 
It's gonna hurt and I had to learn that the hard way. And I'm making this video so that you won't do what I did because I didn't see any videos like this letting me know these things. I also have some gauze. I got these from Target. They were on like a dollar, I think. I don't even know, but yeah. You're gonna need these gauze once um, you have your shot. Sometimes you bleed. Um, sometimes you get like a little dot, but this just helps to catch the blood. And then you're going to, you know, massage, massage that medicine in very hard so that the medicine can move around because you can definitely feel the medication going in, like it's going into that muscle. So you can definitely feel it. Let me show you guys the um, same thing, the needles. Now this is, they have this one connected with the needle. They have the syringe connected with the needle. And this is a three cc um, syringe. And then we also have a 22 gauge needle on there. So this is the needle that's going to go to pick up the um, medicine. So this is not the needle that we're going to be shooting ourselves with. Even though we can use this, my doctor did say that I could use this 22 gauge, but I don't. I always use the 25 gauge, which is a little bit skinnier. So you can see that. So it looks really, really intimidating. Well, not anymore to me, but at first it really did. At first I didn't understand anything. I was like, hold on, let me just like regroup and make sure I'm like doing everything right. So just make sure you go over everything. Basically they tell me on the side right here, everything that I need to know. It shows me which injections I'm going to, which injection needles that I'm gonna be using to inject, which needles am I gonna be using to draw the medicine up with. So that's very, very helpful. Hopefully you get something like that. Cannot forget the prenatal vitamins. This is essential. You know, this is something that is necessary. We take this every single day. Now this is the pill that I'm gonna forever choke on. Even with all of my pregnancies, y'all, I literally would choke on this pill. This is a big pill to me and I, yeah. Yeah, and y'all, we cannot forget the Sharps container. I have about three Sharp containers, but this is the only one that is not full. My other Sharps container, y'all, is like, it's packed. I could barely close the top, but yeah, it's okay. I'll just stuff it down and yeah. So this Sharps container, I only have one needle inside of there and then one little bloody, um, gauze but i really don't bleed as much for my shots so i only have one needle in here so far i'm going to be putting another needle in there later but yeah so that is basically everything that you will need for your mock cycle um it's really not that bad to be honest with you and i do want to let you know with the progesterone you are going to be taking that um progesterone until you have your biopsy so you're going to be taking that i think until the day of your biopsy you don't take it on the day of your biopsy but you take it the day before the biopsy so i think i took the progesterone injection for like six days straight so i was like switching off butt cheeks and like <laughs> Yeah, I was switching off butt cheeks. Like, I was so sore. Like, I was so sore to sit down. I was telling my husband, like, don't touch me. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Like, it was so sore. But I made it through the mock cycle, and I am so, so excited. And I am so excited to let you guys know everything that I have used for my mock cycle. Um, and then next video, I am going to talk about the ERA test, which is the endometrial biopsy. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Um, y'all, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Print that notification bell so you be notified each and every time your girl posts a video. And if it's any type of video that you want and you want to request it, you want to know a little bit more about something, please comment down below. I have no problem with making a video, okay? So I'll see y'all in the next one. Love and light.